This is the SMSL PL200. It's a CD player. And a DAC and a headphone amp. And I don't know if I love it or if I hate it. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about the SMSL PL200. I have a fascination for CD players and CDs because, well, it was my childhood. So when someone reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to review the PL200 CD player, I said yes. I couldn't type it out quickly enough. And I thought I was getting a CD player, but this is so much more. On the back, you have a DAC, kind of, and a headphone amplifier, kind of and some really cool styling, like piano style keys. And I don't know if they did this on purpose or if they just got retro lucky, because there's something very 90s about these buttons. Huge thank you to today's sponsor, Basis. That's B-A-S-E-U-S dot -E com. Right now they are running a huge Black Friday sale the cheapest prices of the year. Basis makes really cool stuff for your cell phones, your tablets, even your laptops. Portable power banks like this with MagSafe. 30 watt awesome fast charging power bricks. And one of the coolest things they sent me, this USB-C to USB-C extendable cord. This is actually really great for streamers. And you don't have a bunch of extra cord that you have to deal with, you can just use as much as you need. And then it goes back to a size that you can stick in your pocket if you wanna take it with you. I just got back from a trip. This power bank saved me about 10 different times. And I used this USB-C expandable and retractable cord for the entire trip. Finally, when I got back to the hotel, I used this little guy with this USB-C connector. So go over to basis.com, that's B-A-S-E-U-S dot com. They're running their huge Black Friday sale, the best prices they've ever had. No discount codes needed. And grab yourself some very nice Basis products. Links in the description and the pinned comment for all of these, for the power bank, for the 30 watt charger, and the retractable USB-C cable. Basis.com, B-A-S-E-U-S.com. Thank you, Basis. So, the PL200 can play MQA CDs for the dozens of titles available on MQA CD. But seriously, actually, Lenbrook bought MQA, so maybe there is going to be a bunch of new MQA CD player. But SMSL puts it in lights, PL200. They lead with it. They lead with MQA-CD player. Luckily, this plays regular CDs as well. So I did not have to go out into the barren musical wasteland to search for an MQA CD. I just played a regular one. So they call this a versatile audio hub. Why? Because it's got a USB-C input. Why? Because it also has Bluetooth, LDAC Bluetooth, all the good Bluetooth goodies. It has it. And the DAC inside is an AKM 4499EX, which is one of the latest and greatest AKM DAC chips. And they say that they've been putting two years of dedicated research culminating in the PASS Precision Access Servo System. I'm reading right off the page here. It boasts rapid response and precise reading capabilities, coupled with self-developed vibration dampeners. Just in case you're taking this in your 1979 Dodge Aspen RT, I need to put it on the dash. It's not gonna skip. Actually, I used to have to put my portable CD player on my lap with a 3.5 millimeter output to cassette adapter to play my CDs in 1990. So apparently if you're going through an earthquake or something, the SMSL PL200 has you covered. Your Hall & Oates CD is not going to skip during an earthquake. I can't guarantee that. How this thing works. I was a little bit surprised when I opened the box and it came with this. You hear that? You can also meditate with this. Relax, close your eyes. There's a stream behind you. It's filled with koi fish. And there's no mosquitoes. Breathe in for four, okay, we're gonna stop this joke. Anyway, it comes with one of these, which looks like the top for some type of 
hot plate boiling type of apparatus. Then it comes with one of these, which is a magnet. And the magnet goes right, it's hard to do, right there, okay? So you put your CD, why don't we get a CD? God smack. It's actually a really good CD. It's got Moon Baby. You ever heard of Moon Baby? It's a good song. All right, so you take your CD out of the jewel case. I'm gonna try to do this on camera, okay? And you pull off the magnet, the CD, I'm gonna drop this, the CD attachment magnet, and then you put this on there, and then you take this and you put it there. And then you have this. And guess what you can do? Here, we'll spin it. Okay, just imagine that this is actually plugged in. Okay, then what you can do is you can watch it or you can put the hot plate lid on like that. And it's gonna continue to spin and play music. <laughs> it's kind of cool actually. And if you've been on Instagram at all, you've probably seen PlayStation 1's modified to be audiophile CD transports. And this kind of reminds me of that. On the front here you have play pause, stop, track back, track forward. And then if you hold down the stop button, hold down the stop button, then it changes the input. So you got Bluetooth, and you got USB. On the back, you have a 6.35 headphone. Let me try this again. You have a 6.35 headphone output, okay? And it claims two watts in the 32 ohms, which is actually a very beefy headphone amplifier. And you have balanced outputs. You have single-ended outputs then a coaxial output and an optical spitif output. Come on now. And then you have the uh, IEC power connector right there. If you hold down the power button, powers it down and well, powers it up as well. Pretty unique looking. Actually, I've never seen anything like this before. Let's talk about how it sounds. It sounds good. I mean, it's got a 44.99 AKM chipset in here. The analog output stage is, well, designed very well. It sounds very good. Is it as good as the J2 AKM from Gishelli Labs? Probably not, because those Sparkos op amps do some magic. I don't know what kind of op amps are in this thing. It's got luxurious materials, though. I need to screenshot this so I can include it in the video. Luxurious materials. Okay, it's got the OPA 1612As. And a lot, of, oh my goodness, the spec page for this is almost laugh out loud funny. It uses three pieces of OPA 1612A and a lot of autofile components. I use a lot of them. How many? A lot. Okay, I'm going to screenshot that because that's another funny joke. And then it's got the vibration dampeners, quality aluminum. It is actually built very well. Metal, obviously. Um, very solid. Very well done. Has some scallops or something down here on the edge. It's very nice. All kidding aside, it's very it's very well built. But we're talking about how it sounds. Uh, it sounds great. Very dynamic. I didn't feel the need to plug it into the J2. I had it running into the Emotiva RMC1L. Going into the Emotiva XPA Gen 3 multi-channel amplifier, but I was listening to the Wharfdale Diamond 12.4 tower speakers, just in stereo, in reference stereo. Listen to Metallica 72 Seasons. Extremely deep. Extremely detailed, extremely punchy, wide soundstage, and everything that I would want out of a CD player. To me, a little bit punchier, a little bit peppier. That's a way to describe audiophile sounds. A little bit peppier than the Rotel CD11 Mark II. But that's probably all DAC, the DAC-age. Rotel has really good DAC in it too though. I forgot to tell you how much this thing is. It's $670 and it's not prime shipping. So it's coming from overseas. So let's make this video even more meandering and stream of conscious. What are my final thoughts? If you are new here, please consider subscribing. We have a whole bunch of video, over 800 videos. I do this for a living, so it means the world to me if you'd subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching. As I said at the beginning of the video, I don't know if I love this or if I hate it. I think I love it though. Here's the reason why I love it. One, because I've never seen anything quite like this, with the exception of maybe the PS1. The piano keys are such a throwback to the 90s that I can't help but love it. And there's something satisfying about having an actual depressible piece of hardware 
to listen to your CDs. Here's what confuses me. The headphone output. I get it. If you have it on a desktop and you want to listen to CDs, it makes total sense. I guess the USB input also makes total sense. You could use something like a Raspberry Pi with a USB output, USB into here, and that would kind of be cool. This is kind of similar to the Schkit CD transport in that regard. So that's kind of a cool use case scenario. But you have a headphone output, and then you have a Bluetooth input. So I feel the PL200 has a bit of an identity crisis. I don't think it really knows what it is. $670 also seems like a lot of money. If you start to unpack it though, the value proposition gets a little bit better. However, it would be way better if there was an optical input or a coaxial input. Because then you could put a streamer on there, something like the Weem Pro. Run that right into the PL200, use the internal DAC, the 4499, which I think is a better DAC than even the Weem Pro Plus. So that would make a lot of sense, but there is no optical input. There is no coaxial input. So you can't do that. I think if there was, this could be a contender for product of the year because you have a really cool CD player and then you would have a fully functioning DAC. As it is though, you have a DAC, but it's only for the CD player. It's only for the USB input. So I wanna like give this thing the highest recommendation possible, but I can't because it doesn't quite have all the functionality that would support this $670 asking price. As a cool retro CD player, I can see it being worth $670, but you have a lot of competition. You got Rotel, you got Marantz, you got a bunch of other companies putting out CD players. Now, none of them look quite like this, but if you just wanna play CDs, there's more affordable options out there. Actually, there's a lot more affordable options out there if you use it just as a CD transport. You can get a POS DVD player if you want to. So I love it. If this was $400, even if it didn't have an internal DAC, and this was $400, I would be going crazy over this thing because it's super cool. But the headphone amplifier is a head scratcher. The Bluetooth is a head scratcher with the headphone amplifier because I can see Bluetooth if it's on my console, but not if it's on my desk close enough to use the headphone output. I guess all of these things are gonna be use case specific to you. Maybe you want a desktop CD player that you can listen to headphones through. Maybe you want a USB DAC input because you're listening to headphones and it's right next to your computer. But for me personally, I think the beauty of this product would be to have it on a console or a rack somewhere. Actually, if you're on a budget, this would kind of go with a skit system, like the G-Horns or the Sin or something similar to that. I think it's a great value for some people. I don't think it's a great value for most people. Still a pretty cool product. I wish it was about two or three hundred dollars cheaper though. So if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audio man. Every Sunday night we have Patreon only Zooms, Patreon only Discord, Patreon only Facebook group. You can also sign up for Amazon Music, Title or Rune. Links in the description. Click sign up. Even if you quit, I still get a couple of dollars. Finally, you can use the links in the description as those are affiliate links, which means if you click any buy, I get a commission. Doesn't cost you any more though, so it's a great way to support the channel. You can also buy me a cup of coffee. Down at the bottom of the video, there's a thanks button. You can click on it throw a couple of dollars my way, put a little money in the tip jar, but don't feel compelled to buy me anything. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen, maybe, while you watch your Godsmack CD spin roundy roundy and you use the piano buttons to listen to your CDs and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.